So you want to get better at JavaScript? Well, arrays are an essential part of JavaScript. So in this video, let's look at the array map method in about five minutes. So first off, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I do weekly videos on web development topics. So if you're interested in more of that content, make sure to subscribe so you can see it when it comes out. All of that said, let's dive into arrays. All right, so this is a series on JavaScript arrays, and I've got a GitHub repository here that inside of this GitHub repository has a readme on what we'll work on and then a worksheet that you will check out to be able to use below. So inside of that worksheet, you'll have some sample Star Wars character data that we're gonna work with and we're gonna walk through in these different videos, map, reduce, filter, sort, every sum, and then maybe we'll add some, no pun intended, extra videos to this on the end if you're interested. So let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so we've got the array functions worksheet checked out from the repository, and we've got our sample data here, which is characters from Star Wars. So this is an array of characters with uh, the following properties, name, height, mass, eye color, and gender. And so we're gonna have that for Luke Skywalker, Darth Vader, Leia, and Anakin Skywalker. So we've got those characters, and now we're gonna work with the map function in JavaScript, so array.map. And what map will do is it will iterate through each item in the array, so each one of these characters, and it will allow us to transform each item in some way. So the result will be another array with a transformed item from each one of the original items in the array. So what if we wanted to get an array of all of the names? So if we just wanted an array of names for these characters, well, we can use array.map for just that. So we can take our characters array and we can call map and we can say for each character, what we're going to do is we're going to return the character.name. So what this means is the map function will take a callback function and in that callback function, we've defined our parameter as character. And basically in that callback function that we define, we show how to transform that individual item to the new one that we want in the resulting array. So let's do a console log of names. Let's see if this works and let's run a nodemon uh, and then on our worksheet uh, JS file. Nodemon will do a live reloading server uh, so anytime we save this file, it will rerun it like so. So you see this is printing out the names just like we want. Now I want to show you uh, the real beauty of this is combining these arrow functions with implicit return. So if we're returning something in one line, we can actually get rid of the brackets as well as the return and the semicolon and do this. So now we can uh, basically just have a one liner to say, hey, we're going to map over each character and convert it to uh, just the name. So each each full object now is just going to become a name. And you can see that uh, in the resulting array down there. So then what if we wanted to do the same thing for heights? We could take our characters dot map. We can type in a uh, character and then from our character, we want to return character dot height. So then we'll log out heights as well. And we should see uh, we have those down here. So that works well. And then we'll move down to step three. And in this case, we want to get an array of objects with just the name and height properties. So basically what we're doing is stripping out some of these properties, actually the last three properties. So we only want the name and height. So we can do, I always call this like a minified records type thing. And we can take our characters dot map. Uh, so for each character, what do we want to return? Well, we want to return an object so in this object, we want to have a name property, which is set to character.name, and then we'll have a height property, which is set to character.height. Uh, but we'll have a little bit of an issue here where uh, the syntax here is a little bit off. So actually what we need to do is wrap this return value. Since that's an object, we need to wrap it in parentheses to show that this is not, this is an implicit return. We just happen to be returning an object. So then let's log out the minified records and just make sure those look good. There we go. So we have each object has two properties, uh, the name and the height. And then last on here is to get an array of all of the first names. So if you look at the names, these are uh, first names separated by a space. So let's do a first names and we'll say characters and we'll map over each character. And then uh, we're not going to do any extra checking in here. We're just going to kind of assume that these all match the same format. So what we're going to do is we're going to say uh, character dot name dot split. So we're going to split it based on that space. And then we're going to get the uh, zeroth index inside of the resulting array. So split will give you an array of things that are separated by spaces. Then we'll get the first one, which should be the first name. And let's log out the first names as well. 
So now we should see Luke, Darth, Leia, and Anakin. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video and you feel like you're getting better at JavaScript arrays. If you're interested in learning more about arrays, make sure to check out one of the other videos in the playlist. And if you have any additional questions or topics in JavaScript you'd like to see covered, feel free to leave a comment below or check out the link to join the Learn, Build, Teach Discord server and you can ask and share there as well. Thanks again for watching the video and I'll catch you in the next one.